everyone knows I'm a Ben Simmons guy. I, I've I've not not hid that fact. I, I'm a huge Ben Simmons guy. I love the guy's talent and what he brings to the court. That being said, on the Sixer side, I'm arguing the Sixer side here. This was the absolute best trade that we can get. We got a not only an All Star. You're talking a top five offensive player to ever play this game. Um, to add a piece like that. When you already have the best player in the game today, um, it's a no-brainer to make that move. All right? That being said, it sucks. It had to be a trade that you also make your rival and who people are said beforehand and definitely are saying now, here is your Eastern Conference Finals if they don't match up earlier. But this is this is what everyone's saying. Here's the one team, Sixers. Here's the two team, the Nets. Whoever wins that's going to the Finals. And to me, making a trade with a team like that to make them better, which we did, the Nets are now better than what they were when they had Harden. Okay? That no one fool you on that. That makes the um, trade a little stinkish to me. Think you think the Nets are better? Of course they are. Come on. Look, I've they, been saying they, it. No, they lost Joe Harris, which has been a, a thorn in their side all year. Now you cut. You don't replace him, but you kind of get Curry, who who could do the same thing. All right, who's a, a, just a straight shooter. All right, you get a a very talented backup who probably is going to end up starting for them at center. All right, and Drummond. Um, and you get the absolute best on-ball defender in the whole NBA at seven foot who can do everything else. You don't need him to ever touch the ball on offense because you have a guy who does that. You have two guys who does that. The only thing I'll say is I've been saying it for weeks and good for Maury for, for – Stand his ground, and this is probably the first time in history where one of these situations where a team has waited and been patient and it's paid right. off. Right. Usually it works the other way around. But, I mean, the only thing I'm going to say to that is it's impossible, and I still maintain that it's impossible to win a trade in the NBA when you don't receive the best player. The Sixers received the best Correct. player. Therefore, they won the trade. I think uh, it's as simple as that. I'm not really going to get too deep into it now. And look, Ben Simmons is going to do his thing up in Brooklyn. Right, right. I think, like, uh, I don't know. I think I this is I a little. Think the- I think this is a little different because I, I can't really remember the last time you had two. And people, are, I'm probably going to get a lot of hate and a lot of bash for this, but two superstars being traded for each other. Like, these are two elite talents. Harden is a top three player in the NBA on the offensive side of the ball right now. Ben Simmons is a top three player on the defensive side of the ball. I, I don't remember a trade like that. So so how you define who won that trade is going to determine the outcome of the trade. Who wins the playoff series? Because you know they're seeing each other in the playoffs. Who wins that series? That's who won the trade. So you're worried about Brooklyn. Of, why wouldn't you be? I'm How not. could you not? Uh, I no. Listen, because when I Bush saw, comes, look, when Ben Simmons going to do his thing. Correct. He's going to do it. He's going to do his thing. He's going to push pace. He's six ten. He's going to make his teammates better. He's an elite passer. He can right. cover one through five. He's an elite defender. Correct. He's going to be an average free throw shooter. He's not going to give you anything in the half court because he doesn't shoot the basketball. Right. Nor does he have a desire to shoot the basketball. And if he has one of these spells in the playoffs where he, he starts acting like a wimp and getting lazy and not aggressive, then you're playing four on five, which was the problem here in Philadelphia. I'm not worried about the Nets. I don't. I strongly disagree that the Nets are better now than they were 